Now, do you know that you can also use Emacs for, uh, or I should say, use Emacs or mode for uh, uh, doing uh, presentations? And when I say presentations, I'm not really talking about uh, using Emacs to create a presentation. That, of course, you can do. There are different uh, uh, packages that you can use. But w what I wanted to talk about today is uh, uh, basically the ability of uh, uh, of org mode to also uh, use one package. Of course, there is a package that, that I will be using. But using that package, you can uh, start showing your current document, your current org file as a presentation. Of course, so let us say if you have to explain, for example, in this particular case, I'm uh, looking at this, uh, I'm showing you this, uh, this file, this org file. This is, of course, one uh, blog post that I was writing and it, it, it is fine. I mean, the, the good thing about uh, uh, about this org file is uh, that you can, of course, talk about, let us say, uh, uh, the different headers. And there is a concept of, of course, uh, folding. Let us say if you want to start with the overview, you can do that. Then you can move on to the next header. And uh, of course, this, this is fine, but there is a better way. There is a better way, way of doing it. And that better way is basically using one uh, one package that you can install called org tree slide. Now, if I show you <clears throat> the same document using org tree slide, I can, be, of course, uh, uh, use this org tree slide mode. And uh, when I press enter, it will now convert your org file. And basically, it will pick up different headers that you have and start presenting it nicely uh, as a presentation. Of course, the good thing about this file is that it is not just uh, view only. You can actually make uh, changes to it uh, live. So maybe you want to use it for uh, uh, writing your file. Maybe you just want to focus on one particular header. It is a bit similar to the narrowing part that I showed earlier. Uh, but narrowing works uh, for, of course, uh, <clears throat> I mean, it, it works in, in a similar way. And uh, to be honest, uh, I believe this package or tree slide mode is doing uh, narrowing for you and uh, of course you have the option to switch or basically move to the next header so what you can do you can also uh, map uh, any key that you want to use for uh, switching or basically moving uh, you know these uh, slides so like on my particular keyboard I am using a Mac keyboard and I, I have F5 for the previous and uh, F6 for moving to the next uh, slide or rather uh, it is not really a slide but uh, the next uh, header, the next subtree. Now, if you have a document or not a document, but if you have a document with multiple levels, uh, it is a document, but, uh, but I'm talking about a subtree with further subtrees. Like in this case, right now we're talking about uh, Emacs and org mode fundamentals. Now I do have further subtrees uh, for the you know, children. Now this will actually uh, go through each one of them. So the next one would be basic commands and so on. So this is something that I believe is quite useful in case you are talking to someone and you are uh, uh, trying to show them uh, uh, a simple thing. I mean, it, I mean, of course, th 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 we are not really showing here uh, images, although you can. Uh, it is it is very much possible to have images uh, uh, that you want to maybe include in your in your document. I uh, don't have any images here, but uh, I still have, of course, a simple text uh, file. Everything is text here. Now. I'm like, if you have been watching my videos, I always use, uh, if I have to explain something on the org, uh, org mode using Emacs, I of course, uh, show you the whole document, but I think uh, from, from now onwards, I'll probably use this, uh, mode. It is quite good. There are a lot of things that you can do. And what I want to also talk about is, uh, how you can, uh, uh, use different profiles. Now, by default, if you, let us say, uh, start, so, there is hardly any configuration. All you need to do is uh, you need to simply install the package. So the package that uh, I am talking about is let me just exit the org tree slide mode and I'll directly switch to the uh, uh, to the part where I want to focus on. So basically, if you want to install, you can uh, install the org tree slide package from the ME LPA repository. So you can do list packages and you can search for this package. So once you have this package installed, then you can uh, simply 
convert your existing uh, document, your org file into, I mean, you're not really converting anything, but you are basically uh, switching this particular tree slide uh, mode. Now, there are a few things that you can do. Like, of course, if you do org tree slide mode, that is the default uh, profile, but there are other uh, other modes, other, not, not really, yeah, th there are other profiles basically. So for, I, I'll talk about the, the profiles, but uh, for switching the, uh, for, for basically switching or navigating the slides, you can basically uh, add this to your Emacs uh, configuration. For example, in this particular case, uh, I, I have F5 and F6 key, which is basically uh, a key binding for uh, this org tree slide uh, move previous uh, tree and move next tree. So you can also do that. I think uh, it works fine for me. It works nicely for uh, at least for, I mean, F5 and F6 works for the Mac keyboard, at least for me, but I'm sure you can uh, use any any key binding based on your preference. Now talking about the profiles, uh, by default, you will have this uh, profile called uh, org tree slide presentation profile, but it is also possible, for example, if I do this, like uh, let, let us uh, use the default profile. Uh, which is uh, the org tree slide mode. Now you have, of course, the title on top. You can take a look at the date and uh, the author information. But there is also one uh, uh, one profile that is a bit uh, lightweight. So if you use maybe org slide, uh, there's one called, uh, I believe, simple. So if you, now you have the simple profile turned on. And if you now, change the mode to our tree slide mode. You don't have the header on top. So this is something that you can do. It is a bit, of course, uh, lightweight. I mean, I mean, if you if you if you prefer this, uh, it, it is, of course, uh, uh, without the header. So that is something that you can do. So let us uh, let, let us uh, find the other profile. So if you go to the org tree slide, you have to, of course, turn it on and then uh, uh, change basically. So let me just uh, exit. And uh, what else I wanted to talk about is I think uh, one more thing. Uh, and by the way, yeah, there is also one more profile called uh, org tree slide narrowing control profile. So let us say you have a document and you're writing a big document and you may have, because we are talking about org file, you may have uh, some headers where you have just, uh, uh, I mean, you, you still want to work on them, like only to do items. So what you can do, you can uh, use this uh, uh, mode <coughs> called uh, org tree slide uh, narrowing. Yeah, I was looking for this narrowing control profile. It is now turned on. Now, if you now start the presentation, it will just focus on the to do subtrees. So it can be useful. I, I think uh, this is something that uh, that I thought I'll also talk about. Uh, to be honest, I, I'm quite enjoying uh, the the, the, this particular uh, uh, package because you can do a lot of things you can uh, uh, I mean you can also customize it but to be honest my, my, my requirement was to simply create uh, uh, or I shouldn't use the word create but convert this document into a presentation and uh, let us say if I'm talk talking about this document where I am of course focused on uh, uh, let us say a specific uh, subtree so I can use this to do uh -huh. thing in front in, in, the, in the front so i can basically make this as a task that i want to do and i can just focus on that particular uh, part when i'm showing the presentation if i want to just show to do items uh, so use and uh, give it a try give this package or tree slide a, a, a try there are other packages to make a presentation for example if you want to uh, let us say you, are, you want to create a bit fancy, a bit uh, more uh, beautiful presentation. Uh, you can export this as a presentation if you want. There are packages, but my for my for, for my requirement, I think I just wanted to focus on the org file, and I was looking for a way to present the existing org file as it is. So it's it's like a presentation that I can also modify on fly. For example, uh, I am. Uh, let, or it, it can be relevant for you. Let us say you're trying to uh, teach someone programming. So you can use org, uh, you, you can use literate programming in org mode and uh, 
you can do you, you can show them a specific header but if you need to let us say run a code you can do that and it is all within your file and everything is just uh, nothing but a file itself you're not really exporting it to a presentation so in case you prefer doing that like me give this uh, package a try or tree slide and that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something uh, new today thank you very much